About a half hour behind schedule, the official party lunches in the Capitol, where the others chat as Mr. Kennedy's meal is interrupted to sign the papers formally nominating his cabinet. Then the procession to the White House and the reviewing stand for the inauguration parade. En route to their new address, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, John and Jacqueline Kennedy are cheered by nearly a million. The presiding dignitaries review a vast and impressive array of military units, bands, and drill teams. A three and a half hour march. Head of the parade, a replica of a Navy PT boat, like that commanded by President Kennedy in the Pacific in World War II, with most of his crew on hand. A stirring but chilled review in the freezing weather. That night, things warm up. After a brief rest, President Kennedy and the First Lady venture from the White House to attend a round of no less than five gala inaugural balls. presidential couple arrive at the main ball at the Columbia Armory, Washington's resplendent finale to two and a half days of celebration. A new era begins under the leadership of President John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm.